we regret moving to Florida. And I've heard this a lot lately. And I can see why moving and leaving Florida continues to be an increasingly popular search term when I look at Google Trends. However, we moved to Florida from Georgia and my family sold almost everything we had and packed up a U-Haul trailer and headed due south. So quick update, over here, we got the U-Haul hooked up to Honestly, keeping it under 60. So the gauge cluster MPG calculation, even though it was reset at the beginning of this trip. To live just a few feet away from the beautiful Gulf Coast beaches and to enjoy the amazing weather and abundant sunshine here in Florida. Oh, and it was a huge benefit for our businesses too. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand how living in Florida just isn't right for everyone. And that's perfectly okay. But, but I want to be somewhat of a helpful and informative source for y'all. And with your permission, I'd like to help you get better prepared if you too are considering making the move to Florida. And I'm going to include a link down in the description to a video that I uploaded back when we made the move that goes over our own real life and personal experiences, the good, the bad, the not so ugly truth about moving and most importantly, towing a U-Haul trailer behind a JL Jeep Wrangler Sahara so make sure you go check out that video after you finish watching this short video. Now from previous uploads and different conversations and chats that I've been having, there's a general consensus behind the reasons why people are leaving Florida and they include obviously the high cost of living because Florida's cost of living is astronomical, especially housing prices lately since they've been on the rise. Now, this is not just Florida because across the country, home prices have been going up. But in Florida, you will see that the median sales price for a home has reached almost $600,000, which is almost a near 50% increase from just last year alone. And while the state of Florida may be more affordable than maybe some of these Northeastern or states like New York or West Coast like California, it's not as cheap as some may expect as it was generally considered to be a place for retirement or retirees to enjoy their time away from work. Now, but one of the other benefits, one of the perks and pluses here is that Florida doesn't have a state income tax, but the higher property taxes can often negate these benefits of not having a state income tax. And I'm sure everyone is fully aware of the insurance challenges that Florida has been making headlines about here recently since Florida's insurance situation is problematic at best. Marked by high premiums, limited availability, and rising costs, homeowners insurance rates are substantial due to the hurricane risk that is inherent and acquiring insurance coverage is becoming increasingly more difficult. A lot of these insurance companies are leaving Florida and the new ones coming in are not making the process easy or really that affordable. Now, flood insurance rates are also soaring, not to mention wind riders, and the property insurance market is extremely volatile right now, often with unexpected rate hikes, which I have seen firsthand really, really kick condo owners in the pants when they get their assessments and townhome communities and condo associations and homeowners associations are really feeling the squeeze by these insurance companies and they're passing that cost down to the owners and the tenants. But I'm not entirely sure that that's the best reason or the uh, biggest problem that we face here that would make me want to leave Florida. What do you guys think? As you guys can see, uh, we're in the middle of November. It's actually November 18th. I mean, we're just a few days away from Thanksgiving and I am uh, kind of just hanging out poolside in shorts and a t-shirt. And one of the reasons why people actually leave and move away from Florida is because of the climate complexities. We'll call it climate complexities. And the state of Florida's climate poses various challenges depending. Now, with warming oceans and increased hurricane activity, Florida is prone to natural disasters, most notably hurricanes. 
since 1953, Florida has had 130 federally declared disasters with recent hurricanes causing significant property destruction. And additionally, the state experiences intense heat, prolonged summers and high humidity, which can be challenging for some residents. Now, if you move to Florida, you know there's sunshine and high temperatures and theoretically great weather. But I have heard some people say that they're kind of over it. They're kind of tired of it and they just can't take the heat and the humidity anymore. Now, the humidity today is actually not so bad but there have been instances where I, i've come out to record videos and uh you guys may have even seen it on some of the videos and i and i come out to record videos and immediately as i exit the indoor air conditioned space and go outdoors into the you know florida florida atmosphere all of my tech all of my gear becomes moist <laughs> Uh, my cameras fog over, my lenses fog over, my computer, my aluminum MacBook case starts to sweat, uh, my sunglasses fog, my eyeglasses fog, and uh, you know, first world problems, right? But honestly, I think that I would take this over harsh winter weather or harsh climates, colder temperatures more often than not. Now, the other reason potentially that folks are choosing to pack up and leave is because of the lifestyle and the economic factors where some people have moved to florida for a vacation experience but only figure out after living here that there are differences in vacation and residency with issues like severe weather potential severe weather warnings low wages in certain industries in certain areas and certain locales crowded beaches and that is especially during peak uh, tourist travel season which i gotta say is one of the main reasons why we like living in florida is for the fact that we get to utilize and take advantage of all the perks when the tourists have to go back home uh, additionally we have changing politics which could be a contributing factor to some and forcing them to decide to leave the state of Florida has rapid growth. Folks are coming in from all over the country, fueled by newcomers, which has led to a disparity between, between rent and wages. And yeah, wages aren't keeping up with the price of rent or housing costs, the increase and in rise in inflation and cost of living. If you are maintaining one job or at least one source of income and potentially banking on your annual performance review or update to get a two or three percent raise. Now this is particularly the case in South Florida, more likely Miami heading towards the Keys, uh, for instance, which was designated as America's least affordable place to live. And I think that might be a close tie with San Francisco. Now, San Francisco, Los Angeles, the rent prices are relatively comparable but double the level considered affordable for local incomes. So what I often find is that in the most desirable places in Florida to visit and vacation and dine and you know enjoy entertainment and leisure activities, most of the folks there are traveling and visiting on vacation or for work, perhaps maybe a conference of some sort or if they work there, they don't live there. And the reason being is because typically they just can't afford it. Now, I do wanna make sure you guys go check out that video of us towing a U-Haul trailer down from Georgia to Florida behind a Jeep, JL Jeep Wrangler Sahara. And for those of you who may be considering this, which I think is actually really, really a high probability, and here's my reasoning and explanation behind why. It's because I think that Florida is the, possibly but outside of maybe uh, Moab, Utah, may be the capital of Jeep Wranglers. Hands down, bar none. And if that's the case, then you may be looking to make the move uh, and towing a U-Haul trailer yourself, which U-Haul will allow it under certain circumstances, but. I think there's a few things you might really want to know and consider before you go ahead and make that reservation and, and connect that hitch. With that being said, driving the 
the commuting factor of Florida, which being traffic, is uh, another factor that's collectively contributing to why some people are choosing to move out of Florida. And I can tell you this from firsthand experience that where I live in Florida, the traffic's not that bad. However, in comparison to Atlanta, I don't think you can get really much. I don't think you can really get much worse than that unless you're coming from New York or LA. But to each their own, in respect to lifestyle and economic factors and the high cost of living, I just want to tell you guys and share with you some of the ways that you can mitigate these challenges. And it's no matter where you live in the country for that matter. So you see, we have chosen to build our careers on the foundation of basically three important pillars. Number one, do what you love and love what you do. Number two, be your own boss. And number three, work remote and remove the limitations set by traditional nine to five corporate office worker jobs like that. And besides these principles, mastering our own personal finances is what allows us to live a life of abundance and limits financial and economic restrictions that may creep up on you if you aren't careful. Working remotely as a full-time monetized YouTube content creator offers a unique blend of freedom and creativity. And here's a few reasons why we really, really enjoy what we do. Number one is freedom and flexibility in work hours and location. We can pretty much work anywhere, be in a cozy home office, a beachside cafe, or next to the pool. Uh, we can even choose to work from a coffee shop. This flexibility allows for a better work-life balance and the freedom to travel or relocate as desired, which you guys know every summer, that's pretty much what we typically try to do. Or even when we get the opportunity with some time off from school, we're more than likely going to hit the road. Now, this is another big one, creative autonomy, because as a YouTuber creator, as a freelancer, for instance, for us, you have complete control over your content. From the topics that you choose to cover to the style and tone of your videos, this creative freedom enables you to express your passion and interests authentically. So it's interesting because I was having this conversation with a, a friend and a fellow content creator YouTuber yesterday, and we were having this discussion in, um, over sponsorships. And I, and I essentially, I, I basically told him, I said, hey, look, man, they need us more than we need them, okay? I am not going to allow a sponsor to dictate and control my content or disrupt my creative process and flow or ruin the enjoyment that I get from the experience of being a YouTuber. And he said, you know what, you're absolutely right. And so with that being said, you guys may have noticed a few changes and tweaks to the channel because ultimately I want to be able to express myself, my passions and my interests authentically. So if this is something that interests you, then by all means, smash that like button and stick around. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I have a lot of great things that I want to share and show you. Now, let's talk about direct connections and communication with your audience, which is essentially what we're trying to do here. You can engage directly with the viewers through comments, live streams and social media, as well as a variety of other tools, which I'll share with you later which can foster a strong community around your content. And this interaction can be incredibly rewarding and offers immediate feedback, especially as you are building a community, a, a, a group, a, a friendship, a bond basically on common grounds and common interests as we share similar tastes, similar thoughts, similar opinions, desires, and we speak the same language. Now, I really hope these fountains behind me aren't too loud, guys. I got the wind diffuser on, but I don't know. I can't tell by just sitting here talking to you, but uh, I, I've sat here before and recorded. I, I haven't had any complaints, so maybe maybe everything's fine. And it's important because this, this next one here, I think everybody's gonna really wanna listen to, and it's the potential for significant earnings, okay? Successful YouTube channels can generate substantial income through ad revenue, sponsorships, merchandise sales, and memberships and subscriptions. This financial potential allows for a sustainable and often lucrative career outside of the norm. And this can be added on top of other career paths and other income sources to just multiply and diversify your income. I've got another video coming up 
real soon, which I'm debating on if it's going to be a pre-recorded video that I upload or if it's going to be a live stream, but I'm going to go through in great detail and explain how and why it is possible how you and others can and or have not succeeded in this just yet. The obstacles that are presented, the hurdles that we have to overcome, the thought process and strategy behind it all. And most importantly, uh, maybe answering some questions that folks may have, for instance, one that I received on a video that I uploaded last night and answering these questions, because essentially it's not always exactly as it appears or what you may see. And for me personally, I spend a great deal of time off camera, behind camera, behind the scenes in ways that produce substantial amounts of income by way of content creation and social media and YouTube and YouTube creative growth and revenue and profiting opportunities, which I got to say, Florida aids in that in countless ways, more, more than you can imagine from a creative standpoint, from an inspirational standpoint, from a scenery and uh, location standpoint, it's, it's literally free, free opportunities, literally by walking outside of your door and turning on a camera and pressing record and showing some folks some things that they may have never seen before, or at least some things that they have seen before that they haven't been able to see, see lately and taking them away and maybe, uh, bringing them along on a virtual e vacation whenever they get an opportunity to watch your videos. Now, there's also growth. We got to scale, right? Opportunities for growth and learning and being a content creator requires continuous learning and adaptation, which I try to do and I try to share with you guys. Now, whether it's mastering new technologies, staying ahead of the latest trends or just refining your own storytelling skills, this constant evolution can be both challenging and fulfilling. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. While also continuing to develop my own personal brand. Uh, as a YouTuber, you build and nurture your personal brand, which can open doors to various opportunities like collaborations, speaking engagements, and partnerships. And these, these are just scratching the surface, guys. We can also make a positive impact on so many folks' lives, where many creators find joy in making a difference, whether by educating, entertaining, or inspiring, or all of the above for their audience. And this ability to influence positivity can be a powerful motivator for continued motivation and creation. In essence, being a full-time monetized YouTube content creator combines the freedom of remote work with the satisfaction of running your own creative business while offering a unique, extremely rewarding career path. And although we first began and could have continued to accomplish this and keep on building success on our path to financial freedom back in Atlanta, we most certainly prefer all the perks and benefits of living here in Florida and being steps away from the beautiful Emerald Gulf Coast Beach shore. Hey guys. Hey guys. Apparently all these beaches have different names. I don't know all the names. Well, this is Beasley. We're still in Beasley. And then when you get farther down to the other entrance where you can walk the boardwalk in, I don't remember its name. And then you've got Noriega down Noriego. there. Noriego. Well, it's like Noriega. The, you got Noriega. See ya.
Now, if you would like more information or have any questions and want to get started building your dream career, working remote, making money online, growing a monetized YouTube channel, or are considering moving to or from Florida and just want to talk out a few things, then hey, let's chat. Drop a comment or we can talk over coffee. Check out the link below that I've included for that. And until next time, I hope you all stay safe. Continue to follow your dreams and nurture your passions. And I look forward to talking to you guys real soon. See you, bye. Oh yeah, guys. And don't forget to check out this next video here so you can avoid making the same mistakes that we did when trying to tow a U-Haul trailer behind our JL Jeep Wrangler. Yeah. So make sure you go Make sure you go check out this video next.